All right, so here we go with topic 7 from our chapter 7. Um, multiplying a polynomial by a monomial. So we've already defined what these terms are, and uh, here's like the simplest thing that we're going to do with them. Basically, this is going to be the distributive property, and then we're going to combine like terms. Now remember, like terms must have the same exact variables and the same exponents on those same variables. Okay, so here we go. Uh, here I'm going to distribute just as I would. So 3 times a squared is 3a squared. 3 times 2a is a positive 6a. 3 times a negative 2 is a negative 6. Piece of cake. Um, so here I'm multiplying 3x times 2x squared, right? I'm not going to belabor how to get the, the exponent rules that we already taught in the first half of the chapter, but if I multiply these, 3 times 2 is uh, 6, x times x squared is x cubed, right? And then uh, 3 times a negative, this negative goes with the 4 there, so this 3 times negative 4 is a negative 12x squared, because we have 3x times negative 4x, and then plus 9x, uh, just 9x. That's our final answer. All right, our last one here, we're going to be multiplying a negative 4x squared by everything in the parentheses. So negative 4x squared times 5x squared, negative 4 times negative, or negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. Those are the exponent rules we went over before. Negative times a negative, remember the negatives goes with the 2 as well. So it's a positive 8x cubed. Negative 4x squared times 1 is negative 4x squared. D-O-N-E. All right, now let's see a few more examples where we got a little bit more going on. Remember, you can always pause, rewind, rewatch, whatever, if I go too fast. Uh, so here we got to distribute first. And make sure that when you distribute, you're distributing this negative 9 to both of them, not just a 9. So the sign goes with the number after it. So I rewrite the 2x, didn't do anything there. 3 times x is positive 3x. 3 times 7, positive 21. Negative 9 times x is negative 9x. Negative times a negative is a positive 18. Now we're not done because we need to combine like terms like we did in the previous video. So we have a 2x, a 3x, and a negative 9x. So 2x minus 3x, or plus 3x minus 9x. That's like 6x minus 9x, which is uh, negative 3x. So that's negative 3x, and then 21 plus 18 is a positive 39. There's our final answer. All right, so here I'm going to uh, give myself a little bit more room there. Distribute the 2p times both things. So we have a negative 8p cubed. Uh, plus 10p squared, negative 5 times p squared is negative 10p squared, negative 5 times 20 is negative 100. Whoa, um, do we have any like terms? we got to check, and yes, we do. We have p squared and p squared. So that's a negative 8p cubed, positive 10p squared, minus 10p squared would just be 0p squared, but why would we write that? We're not going to write that. We're just going to not write anything if it's 0 um, minus 100, right? These just cancel out. There's our final answer. And then the last one. All right, so now you got to really remember the exponent rules from the uh, first couple topics, so you can always go back and revisit those videos. 2 times 6 is 12. We have an a and an a squared, so that's a cubed. b and b cubed is b to the fourth. Minus 2 times 4 is negative 8. A squared B cubed. Remember, you're multiplying the same bases, so you add the exponents. And plus 2 times 3 is 6. A and A is A squared. And B, and there's no other B here, so it's just 1B. B to the 1th. That is our final answer. All right, so if you need to, go back, rewatch, rewind, whatever. Mark sure, make sure to mark your notes down on the side here if you have any, and I'll see you next class.